But today, what we're doing is playing uh, Blue White with uh, Tidebinder and Ephemerate. This is, I feel like the list looks like somewhat simple, but it took me a long time to like find a list or like figure out a list that I was comfy streaming with this idea of playing uh, Tidebinder in a more controlling shell with Ephemerate, being able to Ephemerate this card is I think pretty exciting. Tidebinder is proving to be like super powerful. Not, not, not only is this card like new modern staple, very powerful. It's also really well positioned. I think with the new metagame emerging to be like Titan and Yawgmoth and uh, Cascade decks, Tidebinder is super good against all of these. Um, and so I was trying, so like my first draft of the deck was like a Jeskai build with Snapcaster Mage and um, Flame of Anor. But the problem was, like, and this is the kind of always the problem when you play an Ephemerate Snapcaster deck, is you, you couldn't really get up to enough uh, instants and sorceries for Snapcaster and enough, like, creatures for Ephemerate super comfortably and still having, like, a good-looking deck list. Um, I was looking at Bant's list for a while, but I think just straight blue-white is uh, the way to go. Looks super smooth, super clean. Um, and you even get to, like, cheat a little bit on your creature count for Ephemerate, I think, if you just play four Preordains. It's kind of, like, a weird concept, I think. But, you know, typically, I'm, I'm usually pretty comfortable with, like, 15 or 16 targets for Ephemerate uh, in, the, in these kind of decks. But I think with, with Preordain, you just kind of get to lower that number by a little bit. Kind of a... What are the win cons? Yeah, it, it, it may be difficult to see, but we have in our deck... 10 creatures that can attack. I think that's plenty, plenty of win conditions. Solitudes and subtleties and tight binders. Um, okay, uh, let's get going. Smeltro the Knights. I know, I know that, I know that if I had a single Celestial Colonnade in my mana base, no one would be asking me about win conditions. I don't, I know there's not one Celestial Colonnade, uh, but. Rest assured, chat. We could win anyways. I wasn't congested, so I could just... I was just okay. I, I could talk just fine. But it's just so tough to stream when you're like... When you just like can't talk. It's, you know... I guess I could be silent streaming, but... Um... But I got, I got some... Oh, my opponent's on mold of three. Wow. I just... I don't know what it is. Like, the first match of every stream is just the weirdest match of the day. Every single time. Um... But I, I'm on some. I, I got I got some medicine that Doom took, and the, some other people recommended. Uh, I took my second dose of it this morning, and it's it's uh it's some good stuff. Clap with the eight months. Thank you welcome back. Okay, deck tech for the uh, for Sing. Oh, speaking of Sing, can any mods? Dude, mold a three basic planes. I've 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 been playing modern a long time. I've never seen anyone mold a three and then play a basic planes. Can anybody uh, turn off the sing redemptions? Uh, oh, and then uh, also, <laughs> I don't know. Sis, sing, sing. It's like I I don't know if you're like embracing the meme or whatever, but the reason, the reason we don't have paid deck techs anymore, is that there was a week. Where we had maybe, we had maybe like five Esper deck, uh, Esper Flash deck techs in the course of two days, and they were all like exactly the same. Where the lists were super similar, they they all look they all look like more or less like this. And I don't know, Esper Flash is a deck, which is I'm being I'm being pretty generous even saying that, but Esper Flash is something. That look, I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I what are we, what are we doing here? Why? Well, I, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. I, I, I just couldn't keep doing the same Esper Flash deck tech over and over and over again. Like, you know what I mean? I just, we just, we just got the same, the same deck list, and it's just, I, I just don't understand what we're trying to do. I, I don't know. So, with, with peace and love. We we give it a mod, a mod to refund this. I do I do like this you know tide binder a lot, but I just I just don't know what to say about it. I just don't know what to say about it, especially not when when I'm so vitted up. You know what I mean? Someone got four league trophies a week with Esper, with Esper Flash, with this deck. I don't know. It doesn't. It still doesn't mean anything to me. Modern is kind of like modern is weird right now, dude. Things are all over the place. 
<sighs> Force Breaking Seeds are probably too many for this matchup. Let's do three. Tidebinder's pretty good. Is it good at this matchup? It stops Cigar to Zade ETB. Um, you could respond to like Paladin Card Draw Trigger, counter that, and then they can't equip. Stop Stoneforge ETB, stop Stoneforge activation, stop Urza Saga activation. All right, um, let's keep these binders in, huh? Let's go down to three Teferis. Maybe I'm cutting the Preordains against the Sentinel deck. Is that, is that reasonable? Seems okay. With Mystical Teachings? Oh, yeah, I sold that online. I, I still wouldn't recommend it. Flame Mystical Teachings. Chalice of one against the Hammer deck? Yeah, so we should have brought in the Chalice. I'm um, still, you know, I'm a little, a little fitted up. Acidic with 16 months. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Everybody with 9. Love you guys. Uh, the mod could confirm when they refund the deck tech. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Well, I boarded out a Teferi. Now we got all three of them. Welcome to the party. Well, thanks for my first deck tech with you. Helped a lot. See, it was seeing... Uh, don't be like that, man. Come on, dude. I got COVID. Uh, and, and like, the, the, come on, dude. Chill. <laughs> I, I, you, you're gonna, you, we're going to give you your points back. I, I don't have, I don't have anything to say about the, about the deck. So I'm, I'm just giving you your points back. It's Christmas, please. I just, I just don't have any, uh, any advice to give you, you know what I mean? So, so I think we shock so we can hold up, uh, paid for counterspell, in addition to the explosives crack. Valk, the 31 months, thank you, welcome back. I don't know, it's, it's always the Esper Flash deck techers that are just trying to get deck techs gone forever, you know what I mean? They just send the same, the same thing every time. I'm like, I just don't know, I don't know what to do about the deck, I, don't, I have no advice, I'm sorry, I just don't know what to do. And then they're like mean about it too. They're mean about the fact that I don't have any, any thoughts on the deck. They're mean, they're mean about it, they're, they're the Esper Flash players. They're really trying to get deck techs gone forever. Doodle with the one year. Happy anniversary. Welcome back. Illusions with a 32. Thank you. Welcome back. Finally out of the bit myself. Congrats. Congrats. I don't think they're mean, just disappointed. They were a little mean about it. They were a little mean. I didn't get up to head as for Dexter except for replace it. Seemed funny. The positive lines for mean. It's okay. It's okay. I was just trying to tell you a story. I was trying to entertain you. It's okay. We could move on. We can move on. Lex with the, uh, the thir 17 months. Thank you. Welcome back. It's okay. But th this is also just like, this is part of the deck. If you don't know, this is part of the deck tech thing. And this is part of the why. This is, this is also part of the reason why deck techs are only channel points now. It's because if I, if I don't have any thoughts on them, if I, if I don't want to get into it, I, we could just refund them and, and move on. That's why they're not, there's no paid for deck techs. So I could just not do them if I, if I don't have any thoughts on them. Because that was always the worst part about the paid deck techs is like, people would, would pay money and then they'd be like, I'd be like, well, I have like literally zero thoughts on how I can improve this. I have literally no ideas, but you gave me 10 bucks. So I have to spend you know, five minutes scratching my brain and there's nothing there. It's, it's better this way. I promise it's better this way. I drew a binding. Do you use binding here? Binding seems pretty safe. I 
Don't you counter forge a new one? I don't think so. I just want to pop the explosives this turn. I don't really care about getting hit for six, I think. I can't make it. I care a little bit more now that they had their only hasty creature, I guess. Dang it. Wait, oh no, it has a destructible. Okay, okay, sorry. Fuck. COVID brain. That's for flash brain. Fuck, shit, dude. Okay, maybe we should have counted the fortune now. Uh, okay, I'm mulligan this. It's also the mulligan six. They've had a hard time, huh? I kind of want to keep. We have Solitude pending, Explosives. We draw one land, we get to Wall of Omen Cycle. I want to 23 lands in the deck. I think this hit's probably better than 5 against Hammer. Yeah, just clicky buttons. Easy mold of 5? Certainly not easy mold of 5. <laughs> I actually feel like somewhat comfy with this six with this as a as a keep. I think it's I think it's close, but I feel I feel good about the keep. Especially with my opponent also having mulliganed. Gilly go up to twenty eight, thank you, welcome back. It's a bad card to see. Draw land that we can uh, explosives against the saga tokens. Am I with the three months? Thank you, welcome back. Easy multi five. I'd keep again. Hey, Athena. Hello. So you grab a hammer. Notably, Surge of Salvation doesn't stop against explosives. Easy. Easy keep, more like, huh? Very interesting if they manatize this, actually. Athena, do you want to come on the couch or you just want to be a floor dog? Just a floor dog today. Play a wall this turn, seems fine. Splash Shock for 15 months. Welcome back. I'm playing, I'm playing a Molly again. I would play a Molly again, yeah. Um, the deck, I think the deck looked good yesterday or two days ago. Time is kind of like losing all meaning a little bit. But I liked it. I would play it again for sure. Yeah, I will block. All right, so I think I sold to the Paladin in response. It's a good chance to have a Surge. I, mean, I really don't want to give them any extra cards. I could just pending this. Yeah, that, that must be if I draw a land, especially I get to go uh, pending counterspell up. That would be pretty ideal. How important do you think mana influences to the Amalia mana base? In Pioneer, it's like I don't think you have to play it. I think it's I think it's pretty fine since for the most part you just don't have amazing mana in 
and Pioneer. And you gain a lot of life in Amalia. Damn. It's like the best card. <laughs> Doesn't main phase it. I think I'm going to counter spell. Well, I guess I want to be able to activate, or stop the Stoneforge activation too. Okay, well now I'm going to tie binder the cigar to Zade trigger so that I can just block the Stoneforge. I kind of wanted to save this for an Urza Saga, but I think the fact that I get to get like their creature off the field matters a lot, or enough. Kind of can't believe they didn't like just main. They didn't main phase the hammer when, when the counterspell deck is tapped out. All right, go tie binder, go. Probably not countering Springleaf Drum. Control is really hard to play. Surprised they didn't call Drum. I mean, with the hammer in play. Boone says, literally had the surge. Oh, gang. <laughs> he also literally had a spot where I was tapped out. <laughs> It's also kind of funny that they're telling me that. Like, this game ain't over. Leaving the Triumph and, and the deck to uh, cycle if I draw it, of course. Okay, now this game's over. Well, no, no, sorry, sorry. There's a saw, I guess. Is that, that card's still legal. Now that I've said that, I've, I've certainly summoned... Now, now that they've... Compl now that they're, like, giving up in chat, and I said that this game's over, they're gonna draw Saga. Oh, I saw, I saw this. I was like, oh, no. Okay. Not yet, at least. Okay, so now we've got a Saga answer, which is good. Does this have Vincer? Yeah, we have four Vincers in the deck, actually. A lot of people, they're not super happy I have four Vincers in there, but we, you're, you, are, you are right. You're the only one who knows we need Vincer. If you counter the first chapters, uh, no, no. So, so what happens when you counter the saga thing, saga abilities with type binder is it just doesn't get that ability. So if you counter the first one, it doesn't get the ability to tap for mana. If you counter the second one, it doesn't get the ability to make constructs. Counter the third, it doesn't get this. You don't get to search for something. Um, I think I will just pick up the type binder. We have probably a forge in you, right? I think I need to counter this. Whether or not attack it's fair thing, Moth. Yeah, I agree. If you counter the third one, does it still die? Um, I think so, yeah. Michael, the 10 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Maybe I should have run out the uh, tie by the last turn, but they'll uh, they'll be scooping to this for sure. <laughs> I think it'll be uh, what's for sure. Dingo, the 37. Thank you. Welcome back. Esther's thankfully still been tested negative. I've been taking the upstairs. She's been taking the downstairs. It's been tough. Been a glum holidays. Yeah. And the Atlanta always uh, taking his revenge. Okay. What if what else Gigante? I feel like Prowse is kind of on the uptick at the moment. I've seen some buzz about it online. Some Jeskai list, some Teamer list. Not sure. 
not sure which is the best. I'm kind of partial to uh, Teamer with Questing Druid, I think. <laughs> yeah, two walls can't lose. Lifeguard, they once they go come back. All right. Pretty sure we just slam a wall this turn. It's like a little tempt. It's a little tempting to get Fountain here, so we could go like Island Preordain Counterspell next turn. But this is likely Prowess, so keeping our life total higher is definitely a little bit of a priority. Questing Druid and Prowess seems interesting. Yeah, we we played it like like right when it came out, and it was like really good. And then, man, they're really they're really doing work against my wall at moments, huh? But I don't know. I've just, we've just played so much prowess on the channel. I feel like I've I've had a hard time, uh, really wanting to play a lot more of it. You know, definitely better against Wall of Omens. Yeah, I think to just to fairy bounce the the dragon is a good enough speed bump here. They did graveyard a land, so I think we can expect them to. Oh, interesting. I think we could likely expect them to have a land here. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big sea monster fan. So during my COVID uh, delirious state, I've been watching a lot of like History Channel and a lot of like like squid videos and stuff. And then I was like looking at islands for this deck today. I'm like, wow. That shit is crazy. Sitting both at Teferi. Is that playing around Solitude a little? See the basket starfish? No, I haven't seen a basket starfish. Oh, I, I, I did go to the uh, Atlanta Aquarium when I was in town, though. Alright, I'm going to look at this. On the other monitor first, starfish. The most important every every uh, turn of blue I control. It's very important to look at a new sea creature on your upkeep for inspiration, and to keep your brain stimulated while you play the uh, most difficult deck. Whoa! What the hell? It's pretty weird looking. Like, it's something I really like. I feel like it's the kind of stuff that would give non C appreciators the heebie jeebies, though. So I can hold up Counterspell, or I could try to, like, get really lucky and preordain for an Ephemerate. Counterspell is, like, usually just not really that effective in these kind of boards, so I think I'm gonna dig a little. All right, and then I'll play this tab to keep up the solitude pitch. And it shows. I don't think so. I I think I, I I think I can show you this one. This one. They're pretty cool looking. Just like the the Im, the they get like the the more the images go, the the grosser it gets. So, I. <laughs> Why is breeding pool in the deck? Uh, for uh, pending and binding. Sometimes you want a, a shock land. Burn and Prowess are both on the Yeah, I didn't play any magic yesterday. I had this deck prepped ready for for yesterday, but I was just too sick when I woke up. Maybe turn the corner. I think I think I've turned the corner. I got on um, that medicine that makes you taste pennies. I got you know. Whatever that's called, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I'm a little. I'm, I'm not doing too good. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'm really happy to be here. I'm really happy to be here. But <laughs> okay, counter spells are not very good on these turns. Fuck. Uh, I've I've been better. I tell you what. Uh, okay, so I'm dead. All right. I guess I block here. Assaulted here. I'm played out. Yeah, Pax a bit, something like that. Desert twenty eight. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you.
Let's go to game. Let's go to game two, though. Let's go to game two. Okay. Um. And then we begin the first rest in peace. I don't think I'm likely gonna play more. I'm not gonna play three. I might play two. I'm gonna bring in the third pending. Let's cut these subtleties. Let's bring in the chalice. Tide binder is kind of interesting. I like actually. It's probably a little too fragile, but it does like turn off. Turning off the prowess is kind of cool. Let's get them out of here. Let's get these explosives in. And I probably want to go down and ephemerate. I'm really low on creatures, but salted ephemerate is still really sick. Just play it like a scam card. I think at that point we get the second rip in. I don't play blue white because it's so easy to play. This, you know, easy to play. Well, not at 100%. No matter 28, thank you, welcome back. Yeah, Tidebinder is definitely really cool in the matchup, but I think it probably needs to get trimmed or cut. We do play fetches too, of course. Turns out Sprite Dragon, probably not a great post board. Yeah, a little slow. Or pretty slow. Control ducks start running any wrath anymore makes you fold. Well, you're even we are we are playing a wrath in this deck. We're actually we actually have four wraths in the deck. Or so or, or, we have we have solitude ephemerate. That that's your wrath. Alright, no turn one creature is huge for us, obviously this game. We also have explosives, but <laughs> Salty to frame rate is just like, oh, you got no more creatures. <laughs> They're all gone. And they're one mana. I think maybe if I didn't have second counter spell, I'd let that go. Cause you it, it's important to like be able to answer a underworld breach. And not just get like outvalued by it, but we have this backup one. Uh, I think I'm pretty likely to take a hit here too, just in case they play Soul Scar Mage post combat. I don't know if I'm, am I supposed to take three. I think I can take three. Maybe I should have played Explosives on one first. I'm gonna take three. I think there's a reasonable chance they play. A mage here. All right, they did not. Okay, I love this wall of omens because I just get to like chill and like block the Swiss spear for a little bit with counter spell up, and then um, they'll they'll likely commit into the explosives a little bit more. 100% spell pierce? Maybe. Feels like they got a lot of... They, got, they do have six spells in their hand. Just so you know. Um, so I can counter this with the attitude that I can still binding a breach. I think that's okay. I, I also like... If, if I like slow them down by counterspelling this iteration, I'm also like drawing more towards uh, one of my two copies of Rest in Peace. Okay, fine with this. I'm in the backup wall of omens. Cool. <laughs> Got more where that came from, I guess. Let me just play both of them this turn. Don't have um binding for breach up now, but breach is just like a draw two. You have another iteration. They flip a mutagenic growth, that's fine. Third bobble. Let me down to ten. Interesting game. They still don't hit their third land. Control's so easy. It's the perfect sick deck. You just play your fucking land, pass the turn. 
And your opponent just tells you what your best play is. Alright, best play. Now play Solitude. Get our two for one. What's the drink? This is a uh, kombucha. I actually really like it. It's like I don't even what is what is what is it? What what's in here? I don't know. It's like a, it's like soda. I mean, it says health on it, so you know it's good for you. Um. Pop this now. I, I obviously we could play around with a swift spear, but just like this is like not let them surveil. Fermented tea. Yeah, it's so good. I really have really been liking it. I feel like um did th does this come does this come in caffeine? Does anybody know? Does this come in caffeine? This one's not, I think. But I feel like this may be my new morning drink. And it's good for your digestion too, which I'll tell you what, that's high priority around these parts. Wait, did they... Is this a flashback dart? No, it's not. Okay. We're working the NT Food Legacy deck. Ooh. Sounds very fun. Definitely playing looting. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I uh, Sounds maybe, maybe. It is actually caffeinated because it uses tea leaves. Wow. Oh, after Pedialyte? I actually haven't cracked it open today, but I got... I got the light, brother. I'll tell you what. They have alcoholic kombucha on tap in Denver. Well, if I go to Denver... Which I probably will, but... At the moment, I'm not really feeling like going anywhere. If I go to Denver, I'll give that a go. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four... Seven mana. If I play my land, I'll have eight, and then I can play around a spell pierce on my leyline binding. But there was a chatter who said they had a hundred percent spell pierce, so how are they at eight? They've been growth and fetching and stuff. Raider with Switch Prime, Boon with eleven months, thank you, welcome back. Two on the top, zero on the bottom. Alright, let's play our solid dude. You know, we played our Odawara so that we could feel comfortable doing this with uh out fear of needing to pay for spell pierce, so I think it makes sense. Another channeler. A soul scar mage. I got two darts in the yard. Draw a wall of omens. I'm going to get in for three. See how my opponent reacts to this. I'm okay if this is like a stone rain. I'm also okay if they like dart and then I... Oh, wall just a trade? They, they trade the worst creature too. Or they trade the better creature. This shit is just not good in the face of like the wall of omens that's already in play. Much less a second wall of omens. Homemade meat is a lot of fun. Yeah, meat is, meat is dangerous. I tell you what, my my DM once um brought some mead to the D and D table, and it, it, it for the it, it's like honey. It's honey flavored. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. It's it really tricks you into thinking. That you can just drink it like juice. And uh, I I don't know that I've ever been drunker in my entire life. <laughs> than the time my DM brought uh, me to the D&D table. It's so, it's, it's so strong. But it's just like, hey, I'm like, I'm honey flavored. Don't you want to drink me like juice, dude? Wait, it's just honey? That's crazy. 
Lumbering with the 21. Thank you. Welcome back. Okay, so they can mutagenic growth this a uh, couple times. I guess I'm going to salty the Sprite Dragon. Yeah, Wall of Omens is so good. They got still got two spells in their hand. We're doing pretty good, I think. So they're gonna dart a solitude, stone raining themselves. They're gonna double dart it? Well, okay, you're just gonna double stone rain yourself and your underwear breach deck. <laughs> I'll ha I'll happily accept. Solitude the double stone rain. Maybe I'm supposed to be playing this to thin my library, I'm not sure. I actually can't believe they did that. I think if they use a bolt, I probably... Yeah, I think I probably need to binding the the mage to keep this in here to check here since I'm in top deck mode. But now I don't have an answer for another breach. That's okay. It's just kind of what happens if you get flooded. You know, eventually you gotta draw something or you're gonna lose. How's MTJ going? Uh, I got into to gold, I think. Whatever that means. I didn't, I didn't play any magic yesterday. Yesterday I felt worse than I had all week. I was just so sick, but uh, I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm on this medicine. Should be should be on the mend. Uh, likely going to be in high spirits going forward. Okay, another bolt. Let's let this one go. I think. Let's let this one go. I'm. I think I'm going to not fetch the thin. They got one card in their hand. Jeff with the 28 months. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Should have fetched. Yeah, I guess countering the bolt there is, is better. So like ephemerate would have been better draw. Okay. Getting darted down to down to ten. That's got some life to, to work with. All right, stabilized. Hopefully, y'all were right about this 100% spell pierce. How many creatures have we dealt with? One, two, three, four, five. Right, this is just going to kill them. <laughs> I can't flash back their dart. Don't, don't play this in prowess. You're a mutagenic growth, Mishra's Bobble, Lava Dart deck. Do not put this in your prowess deck. <laughs> My life total is just higher than yours. So I'm going to six. Then down to five. I'm still ahead in the whole like life gain thing. Yeah, I did get Paxlovid, and man, that shit works, dude. Any value bouncing way land on breach? Yeah, I'm kind of going to just wait a turn. We can do that now. Shuke with the five pack. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. It's very nice of you. Go ahead and give this from Shuke. Make sure to thank him. Yeah, well, that's a fairy in play. They can't do anything. And RT with the five. Thank you. Welcome back. Yeah, not fetching <laughs> did really carry us here, huh? Yeah, happy holidays to you too. Why are you just risking die with cards in hand? I this is my win condition. What are, we, what are you talking about? I'm just gonna kill him with this. 
I said, mis uh, misunderstanding what you're asking. This card is so bad for them. They have so many. They, they can't flash back Lava Dart. Can't do anything. They have Giganta as a companion. They, like, they're literally going to cut this card from their deck after this round. Like, I can counter the, I can counter the next Lightning Bolt. I don't need to counter the first one. Lava Dart puts them behind. They die if they cast Lava Dart. Lava Dart deals them 5 damage. Also, they didn't have a Spell Pierce, by the way. <laughs> Replay a similar list of Vortex, didn't play growth, typically cut dart versus speed deck. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, against against Bean. Like, but now beans are banned. I feel like you probably don't want to be playing them. Feel better. Yeah, I got the Paxlovid. It's, it's doing work. Good enough to stream at least. Hopefully I'm over the hill. Oh, I'm gonna let this go, I think. Yeah, my taste buds are messed up. I, the first one, I feel like I, I didn't do that much. The second one did get me. Okay, we win. <laughs> what win conditions are in the deck, says chat. I guess, actually, though, I didn't really think about this so much. I actually, because I boarded out my tie binders and subtleties, I actually don't have win conditions now. I actually do need these like subtleties back in. <laughs> like we actually we like uh, memes aside we literally didn't have one conditions that game so let's get a couple more right there yeah and we had solitudes but i think we only had like two solitudes left in the deck but when i say we don't have win conditions i mean we didn't have enough win conditions um kind of kind of borderline we'll see how these preordains treat us Does deck run like two Murktides as a base of threat, or is that chatting? You could play one. I, I don't. I don't really feel like you need it though. If you were a slower player than me, you know maybe. I ain't, I ain't that worried. So we can go planes into Zogoth Triumph Binding. Not the smoothest curve ever, but. Yeah, wall of omens to save us. That's a good nice pickup. I had a I have like Hall of the Storm Giants in for a bit, but I was like I just wanna put lore in revealed. Dude, we're an hour into the stream and we're in still a match two. <laughs> Forgot why I don't play control on stream anymore. Thank you, Pan. Glad to be back. They keep a card at the top. They haven't played their land yet either. If I block this, am I, am I solituding the, the mage after they cast a spell? Maybe they won't cast a spell. Maybe I'll block the channeler. 
Let's block the channeler, because if they just cast an instant, then I get to block a three a three power creature instead. I prefer to like you know binding something else. Yeah, I also prefer to solitude the uh solitude the the channeler if possible. And then have the wall back to block the mage. So this this worked out pretty good, I think. So th this will give them delirium. So let's go and solve to the channel before this happens so we can win with Rolling Vortex again. We got three cards in their hand. Don't think that even we, we died any combination of them. Down to 14. They draw off their Babel. Now we're just chill. We got Wall of Omens in play. We got counter spells in our hand. Alright, you can have that one. Probably worth countering. Long match. I'm trying. You know, not too often you see the blue white player up <laughs> eight minutes on their prowess opponent. 100% spell pierce. Yeah, I, I, I cut down to two ephemerates because we, we boarded out other creatures. Well, not even bluffing the mutagenic growth. All right, go to shields down here. Yeah, I didn't realize chat was talking about the next game when they said Pierce 100%. It's got three cards in their hand. Put that Giganta in the hand, opponent. Fuck. Shouldn't have gone shields down. I mean, they can only cast two spells right now, though. It's kind of okay. Is that a third spell? Well, they're wait, they're bolting from the yard over like any card draw. I guess their last card's good. I feel like I would have like preordained over bolt there if my hand was not really strong. We're not in great shape though. We're in great shape, actually. We're in super good shape. <laughs> Dude, Blue White is so fucking easy. This deck is so easy. It's always the easiest deck. <laughs> it's perfect COVID deck. See you in 20 months. Happy holidays to you, too. Thank you. Welcome back. So I could not fetch here to play around two bolts and a gut shot, or sorry, and a dart, but now they've played a card, I don't need to worry about that. Do you think Team Rivers of Prowess with Forgery plus Growth is more aggressive than typical Blue Red? Uh, it's not, like Spray Dragon is more aggressive than um, Druid, but Druid let, sure does let you like play a, a look, Dru druid is like you know draws you more cards that's the that's the pro because bottom the pending keep a binding okay i guess i'm gonna get a, i'm gonna get a try them now and this will let me see what i draw to see if i need to use this or not I'm kind of shocked in Steam Mids. Maybe they have like two spell pierces in their hand. I kind of don't know what else they would shock in Steam Mids for. If they have two spell pierces, I'll just pay. Not gonna crack this fetch and be dead to bolt plus dart. Did you get the time? 
Pending on one one. I guess they they saw the chalice. Graveyard's a lava dart. Scary. Alright, let's see what we draw. It's good to save the, the binding for a so spear, I think. So one of their last cards is a dart. If if, if their hand if their hand is dart bolt, then we can counter the bolt. If it's dart dart, it's like a little bit scarier. Wait, sorry, I that was a flashback dart. And then put another dart in the graveyard off the surveil. Okay, I misread that. Pretty lucky to surveil two darts in a row, I guess. Um, we do have a counter spell up for the bolt. We. I bet they have another pending in their hand, also, if they're going to pending the Zafari like that. Subtlety can hopefully win the game kind of quick. Alright, dead to a bolt. Run this out. I can ephemerate it if they play a creature. Oh, what a draw. What a draw. I love the deck. I feel like they must have a pending as one of their other two cards. Pending or spell pierce. And or spell pierce. Maybe dart. Come on, subtlety. One more attack. So do we think our opponent could ever have been sandbagging a lightning bolt here? Because also, like, if I let this go, I died I died in finding two darts off of it, or in any combination of bolts plus dart. I don't think we counter this, it's definitely possible. Yeah, I, I agree it's possible, but the problem is that it's. I think it's not super likely. Um... And the fact that we do die to them fighting both. Wait, hold on. I guess we only died to both if they... No, sorry. We shouldn't have countered. We should not have countered. Because if they find both, then we just counter one. No, no. If they find two darts, then we're dead. But if we if they find bolt dart, we win. But if they find two darts, we're dead. If they have one dart in the yard. Whatever we want. Could probably keep this on the draw. We have Solitude for their first play. We get to go into find our second land off the Preordain. Another Hammer opponent. But he gets two Hammers and a uh, Prowess opponent. A lot of aggro decks out today. Rest in peace, Fury. All right, let's keep both of these. Savage Beating. Quite the username. The 22 Munch and Slinger. Or Slinger with the 22. And Savage Beating with the Twitch Prime. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Okay. Hmm. They grab a hammer. I like that this inner tapped is tough. Should be a good matchup though. Alright, let's let's counter this that they hammer the stone forge with solitude if they if they also have surge. Good shit. Good shit, dude. On the play, too. Oh, 
was the worst matchup. Tron and Comfort is miserable. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Tidebinder really helps a lot with both of those, but maybe. So we really only have ending as now. We can binding next turn. To fairy. Wall of omens. I can't can't, I can't cycle into anything. Okay. Game two. G three. <laughs> Was that this week the G three thing? It's been such a crazy week. Uh, what did I cut last time? How did I already forget? I trimmed it to fairy. Oh, I brought in these. I brought in three spreading seas, trimmed it to fairy, and then cut all the preordains. I did other. Th I did something else too. Cut the subtleties. I think I'm fine with just like yeah. These as win conditions is fine. Could you have cycled into ending to remove the hammer? No, because I was at, I was at four, right? So if I cycle into ending, I have to fetch shock. I guess I can. I guess I can. I have to fetch island, then cycle into ending. Okay. Well, gotta find a white guard. Forgot chalice last game. I think Chalice is, Chalice is okay, but it's like, let's think about it a little bit more. Like, having a, like, removing yourself from Solitude Ephemerate feels kind of sketch. It's probably fine, right, but, um, just like such a potent combo against them. How come no horror all the Storm Giants? I'm just choosing to play Lore and Revealed over any number of Hall of the Storm Giants, and I feel feeling okay about that decision. So what could I want to counter this turn? Uh, I would probably counter Forge anew. We'll note that they're super likely to, to play that. I think I think I'm okay to, um, I, I, I feel like I should probably be okay to play Wall of Omens here. There's a good chance that I end up only like, uh, exiling two things here and like rebounding on the uh, wall. Ben, thanks for the 17 months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Good to hear from you, buddy. Hope we bump into each other at something soon. Well, not soon, because I, I do have COVID. <laughs> but at some point. So, like, Teferi... Well, I guess I get to get their card... I'll just play Island so I can Solitude Ephemerate and pay for Sentinel. Yeah, I'll be at the Hunter Burden. Yeah, I'll probably be the next place we bump into each other. How many one drops do you think is too many to one chalice and one? It's kind of weird where it's like, like here we only have four that we, that, but they're like we have the periodins too, but we cut the we cut the periodins around. But it's like these are really really important. So like th there's a lot of times people will ask for like heuristics on this kind of stuff. But mo modern is a a really weird format, and you just like can't really heuristic your way through this format in my experience. You just kind of have to like. There's there's a lot of. V v vibes, vibes are are more important than heuristics. Usually, is my uh, my opinion. You know what I mean. Yeah, there's. I feel like there's a good chance I'll end up. Um, well, I, I guess I guess I guess I'll still excel the construct, but 
I was thinking maybe I would uh, flicker on the wall for the extra card and bounce the construct, but I could also just bounce the wall of omens with Teferi if I feel like I really need an extra card. Ooh, brutal. I guess I could have counterspelled that. I feel like I'm just gonna hold the counterspell. Maybe it was better maybe it was better to counter. Aether call, thirty five months. Thank you, welcome back. Okay, game three. G three, G three. All right, the vibes are telling me one less to ferry, one more spreading seas on the draw. Not snipe, three months. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> Don't know to play Mario. You got beans banned. Well, it is kind of, I think, a good time to be just kind of playing whatever you're feeling. There's a lot. The format feels pretty open. I've been doing well with a lot of stuff. Put it to the mobile six. I've done it with 10 one jobs. Felt bad. Yeah, I don't know. It just it just kind of depends. Like it depends on how many your opponents are playing. Like how important are your one drops? It's like how important is how like how good is Chalice against them? It just all all depends. Yeah, I've been a good league to be on three explosives. Explosives really good at the moment. Pretty happy with no Urza Saga. I grab a call draw. What are we doing about it? I'm just gonna binding the call draw. And then if they surge the binding, we can prismatic ending with counterspell up. Um and and then we'll have a binding just chilling in play. For a future Teferi, although we did, we are down to only two Teferis, I guess. So a Spell Pierce instead of Surge. Same principle, I guess. Um, get Basic Planes. Alright, getting poisoned, getting squired. Got a little bit of time. Alright, stabilized. Can chill for a little bit though. Yeah, I mean two to I'm really happy to be here today. Hopefully we'll be I, I hopefully we'll be well enough to um stream pioneer uh last pioneer i don't know what it's called there's a there, there's a pioneer blah, 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 uh, qualifier for denver tomorrow and and i'll i'm also gonna play that and the modern challenge tomorrow is my plan do a, do a long nice challenge stream hopefully you know hopefully feeling really good by then we'll see the sub won't be prismatic getting soon i think you can and then, uh, in theory, in theory, I'll be like really on the mend by then. Taking these crazy Pfizer drugs. Um, and uh, I'll need to. Uh, but I'll, I'll still be like contagious and not being. I, I can't go home for Christmas, so I'll be like streaming Christmas. Maybe I've never done a Christmas stream before. Oh, where's my hat? I don't know where my, my Christmas hat is. Okay. It's very down to trade for the spell pierce here. Um it's been a while since we drew a land, huh? Just kinda of waiting on the solitude ephemerate until they play a, a third creature. Why sneak in a cube? Maybe. 
We haven't done any cube this season, huh? I would I would be down. <laughs> Open some treasure chests during Christmas. Yeah, maybe. Um all right, take the head. Stream is helping me through the cross country move. That sounds tough, dude. Good luck. I helped a friend, uh, not, well, not move, but just, like, take his dogs across country. Okay, do I? Yeah, the, the, I, I could die to the ink moth. I, I pitched my other answer to it, so I need to counter this. I helped my friend move his, uh, dogs from Dallas to Utah earlier this year it was a, it was a really actually a super nice trip we started brewing a ttrpg system it was a lot of fun but i'm sure very very stressful how'd you like atlanta dude atlanta always fucking gets me i've played three i've been i've played three tournaments in, in atlanta and it's, the city just always like extracts its revenge on me i don't know what i did to it the first, the first time I was there, I like, I, I was, uh, I was, I was like, after the tournament, hanging out with a friend, I was working on some homework and my, uh, my laptop clock was still set to central time, not Eastern time. And by the time we realized that, um, we still had like two hours to get till our flight left, but then like our Uber was super late. Traffic was really bad. And we got there still with an hour to to our flight departure, but it was so it was so busy. And they also like didn't want to give us our boarding passes. They they said they said it was our flight didn't leave for an hour, and they're like we're not going to give you the boarding passes. And and I, we argued with them for like ten minutes, and then this lady she gave me my boarding pass, and sm she smiled at me. She really really took pleasure in this, and she just goes run. And then I saw I'm running through I'm running through the to, through the through the airport, and uh, that's fine. I'm running I'm running through the airport, and um, I guess I'll binding. I have th I have three counter spells out. So let's just have two two. I can't I can't put play two counter spells a turn. I'm running through the airport, and TS TSA TSA like stops me, or they 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 take my backpack. They take my backpack and and I'm like, hey man, I'm not telling you how to do your job, but I'm like about to miss my flight. Can can you like, can you like look through my backpack next? And he just goes, I'll look through when I'm ready. And then and then all he does is like, it was like a little bit off or something. He just like puts it right back through the, the system. He didn't even it, it didn't even get flagged. It was just like crooked or something. And I grab it. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. And I'm still on time to make the flight. I'm still on time to make the flight. And they just, they just left early. They left early. It's just like, and it's just like, if any of those things didn't happen, I, the TSA doesn't stop me. If they just give me my freaking boarding pass, if they don't leave early, if I re don't realize my, my clock is wrong, if the Uber isn't late, if traffic isn't really bad, if TSA isn't really slow, if any of those things happen, I'm not missing the flight. So that was the first time I was in Atlanta. And then I, you know, this, this time I got COVID last time. Um, last, last time, uh, there's this college kid on shrooms who like jumped, like tried to like carjack a car and like Tashi saved the day. It was just the, the city is always coming for me. All right, let's get a trophy prediction going. All right, let's keep this one. Yeah, yeah, doing that. That was that was crazy. He 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 was like he jumped in Doom's Uber, and he wouldn't get out. He was like out of his mind, and then he like sprinted down the street, no shoes on, thirty degrees, jumped in some like, jumped in the this car. There's like this couple was sitting in the front, and he like wormed over the dude who was in the passenger seat onto the woman who was in the front seat, and he like slammed on the gas. But it was in, it was in park. And so it didn't go anywhere. And then the man grabbed the keys and threw them out of the car. It was just like crazy shit. Um, let's bottom both these. And this time I thought I was leaving with like, 
I thought I was going to leave with good vibes. I thought I was going to leave with nothing too bad happening. But then they got me. You know, Sauron's Ransom of Black Shadowless. Do you think it's worth it? Well, you, you, need a, you need a card draw spell on those decks. It's very important to have, like, a way to to get up on cards. Um, and it's the best option available to you in blue-black. But it is a weaker card draw spell than Expressive Iteration overall. Play a Channeler? Ragavan? <laughs> so I don't know. Atlanta always gets me. I have family there too. I've I've been there a few times. I didn't I'm not seeing them this time around, but yeah. yeah, the city extracts the toll. Distinction of the six months. Thank you, welcome back. Oh, oopsie doopsie. Take your second connive. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Take your second connive. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Man, why do you keep up for my first degree results? Dude, I have COVID. I'm dying over here. You're lucky you get in any kind of stream at all. I fetch main phase because of Tidebinder. Uh, I guess I get Basic Island. They showed me main deck Blood Moon. I, I could still hard cast Binding if, 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 just for four mana. The Gale to 19 months. Welcome back. Mage to 19. Thank you. Welcome back. It's also Christmas. You got to give some people some knives. No, this is a Jurassic Park Plains. Did your taste or smell? Dude, I wish I lost my taste. This medicine tastes like nickels. <laughs> I'd love to have lost my sense of taste. Just drinking all this ginger stuff. Alright, so they play Murktide. I play Subtlety. They play Counterspell. I just play Ephemerate. And they play Bolt, so I guess I play Binding instead. I you know what Nichols tastes like. <laughs> I love to. I love Nichols, dude. Uh. Ooh, well, that's the plan. Don't spell pierce me, dude. Come on. It's Christmas. <laughs> It's Christmas, please. I guess we're still doing pretty good. That's like a 30 life. That's it's quite the the life total. I was kind of hoping I could tie by that islet. Two cards in their hand. What can they be? It could be Counterspell. They could be Spell Pierce. I feel like if they had Bolter Heat, this would be dead. If they had Ragavan Channeler, Shredder, Murktide, we would have heard about all those cards already. Iteration, we would have heard about. They just kind of have to be Counterspells, I guess. Three Counterspells, though? So unlikely. One's a creature, DRC. If, why, why would they have sandbag the DRC, though? Oh, because of the ephemerate? But, but, uh, they, they, right, 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 because of the ephemerate, but... They, it seems like they didn't have it now. Could be one of moon. Well, they they grave rid of the moon. Maybe they have another moon, yeah. I thought they probably would have cast that, though. Hmm... <sighs> 
we just not play the wall yet. Just chill. <coughs> just chill. Yeah, Subtle D could be there. Warren Fish in the two months. Welcome back. I guess that resolves. They flip a lightning bolt. Okay. Three cards in their hand. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run out of Tidebinder, I guess. I always like to target Tidebinder's ability to itself when I just 3 2 flash. I think it's funny. Okay, probably a good turn to get the Wall of Omens down. If I draw a fetch land, I can have Binding up. Um, and also, like, this just kind of blanks uh, any Ragavans in their deck, too. Doesn't really feel like this is going to do much. I mean, I, the best the best case scenario is going to counter a, a Bobble. Is Wall better than Archaeologist? You know, that's a question I was trying to a a answer. I think, yeah. Like, kind of simply put, yes, but... Um, fetch me in face because of their tight binders. Um... I, I feel like like in blue white control like this you, you have a harder time with the mill and it is true that your number of hits is pretty good but but o four is also pretty nice compared to o three you're at twenty nine hits though which is kind of right where you want to be maybe maybe archaeologist is better okay I'm at twenty seven so you know our life totals Doing okay. So, let's not get into a fight now. I guess, I guess, I guess I'll do it on their upkeep, cast binding on their upkeep, and then best case scenario is they have a tide binder and I get to tide binder their tide binder. Have you countered a vocal tide binder? Yet? Well, the problem is, like, I guess it was more a problem with Fury, but, um, if you, if you do that, then... Okay, so do I want to... They could really have a, another Spell Pierce. I feel like with my, my with my life total being so high, I, I probably just should not ever let Spell Pierce be a real card this game. Um, right. Flaw is better for Spellmaster. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. It's a conversation. Maybe I, maybe I should have cast this because now I, I can't tie binder. Tie binder is easy. Or like at all. Okay, so this is three counter spells used now. That's a lot of counter spells. Like, how many counter spells do they even have in their deck? <laughs> Who can say? Just in case they have Tide Binder, I'm going to crack this fetch now. I, I, they, <coughs> I probably shouldn't use it there, but. So I kind of have to pitch. Sucks. Put a summon deck without Caster Flame, without Counter Spell and Prior Dame. How many how many instances and sorceries did you have? Because I was I was getting pretty stuck on feeling like I had the correct number. All right, your life total is 28. 
Top Dex iteration. Lovely. Flips a bolt. <coughs> hmm. Wait, they bolted their shredder? <laughs> oh my gosh, holy shit. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so funny. Let's not trigger connive yet. I'm I'm okay with triggering connive if I get to tide binder and turn off flying maybe. Down to six. Not a big difference between being at six and five. They have two bolts left in their deck though, so gotta watch out for those. The two cards in their hand. <laughs> One counter spell left in the deck. Six season sorcery is just it's probably too low for Snapcaster. What a terrible card to keep at this point. Let's keep it. Fourth counter spell. Fair enough. Wait, they connived a lightning bolt away. I was dead to this lightning bolt. That can't be good. Did they just have the fourth one? Yeah, I think they just connived it away. They also like just threw away the other bolt. <laughs> so funny. Fun is yeah, fun is the real Santa. Uh, yeah, if I break out a removal spell, I could still subtlety with counter spell up. Also, our win condition is decking them at this point. Just wait until you cast a Ragavan opponent. Oh, so I should have main phased the subtlety because of connive also. Although I guess is there any chance they they could they could cast a channeler pre combat. If they have Tidebinder, I want to crack the fetch now, then I subtlety Tidebinder. We do have a lot of draws to answer the Shredder. Would have loved to be able to have Tide Binder and then start blocking with walls. And a fun, fun thing to do. I right, can't counter spell a creature. Game two. So they're bringing in third subtlety mostly because I feel that I need more win conditions, which of a wall. You want one rest in peace. The number of pendings to play is kind of weird. I feel like two is a pretty good number. I could probably trim the fourth ephemerate. Ephemerate's okay though. The worst if I trimmed a wall. What else could I cut? Move down a land, maybe, on the draw. Should be a white fetch, though. Should probably be a blue fetch against the Blood Moon deck. But I'm on the play. I just, I just, I've, I've got COVID brain. I don't know, chat. There's going to be a lot of this today. <laughs> 
streaming land is still fine, but. Okay, nice to see, not Ragavan. So unlikely to Psycho Lore and reveal this turn. Yeah, I think I want to try to draw a white card and Solitude Ephemerate. I mean, I guess they just can't get Delirium. I think he's getting full login for the 37. Alright, Odawar in Graveyard, card on top. Fetch land, crack. Playing around Tidebinder. It's the Tidebinder's world. We're just living in it. Trying to draw a white card at some point. Did play a canal. Do you think if they replaced Subtlety's ability with Tishana, would it be broken? Who cares? <laughs> I don't know. It's just not, fl not playing. Fancy pantsy hypothetical today, chat. Okay, that one gets the scolding out of their hand. Really need to draw a white card. We got two in their hand. Three in their hand. We have a land. Just trying to think about lightning bolt. I think I think I'm just not playing around it. Good chance there's less copies in their deck post board. Looking for a white card. Found it. Um I go for Solitude Ephemerate in their upkeep. I have a counter spell for one thing. It's nice that we can kind of ignore Spell Pierce. Maybe uh, a turn too late. Yeah, okay, not trophying. Let's get a 4 1 prediction going, though. Okay, on the draw, I'm going to keep Zara. I think with the 35 months, we'll be doing well. Watergrave, Thoughtseize, Green, Blue, Black, Ring, Blue, Black, Shadow. Uh, could be a Grix stack, I guess. Takes my solitude. Maybe a little bit more likely to be Shadow variant. I've been uh, Shadow of Doubted one too many times recently. Just gonna main phase crack my fetch. I lose to Murktide every deck. I feel like I beat Murktide more than I lose to it, but just play against it a lot, I guess. That's probably the real answer. Would have probably subtlety to Bowmaster there. Okay. That's fine. I will say that them knowing about the uh Oh they don't know about Tidebinder. Tidebinder was the draw. Okay, cool. Makes it a lot better. Understanding deck is basically blue white using ephemerate as a card advantage engine instead of planeswalkers, deluge ring. I mean you have to vary also, but uh yeah, that I would say that's um about where I'm at with the deck. So 
they have bow masters now. Maybe they had it before and they waited. I oh they have counter spell. Counter spell might preordain. Sure. Interesting. I feel like this doesn't even mean that this they have Merktide, because like I feel like I don't know that they would have done that with the Merktide. I feel like they wouldn't be able to draw land and go Merktide counterspell up. Curious if Snapper Stone Blade would be better than Wall. Uh, I think in, in this build neither would be better than Wall. Well, it was really fucking good. Like, imagine if the water resolved here. <laughs> we could just one mana draw two of these ephemerates. I don't know about the uh, Tide Binder. We're gonna try to be patient. Love to draw another land at some point. Like the counter spell on the period ended up working out a lot better than I would have hoped. Maybe cut the counter spells for mana leaks. Yeah, maybe, huh? Dude, they just you got, you got a spell on the stack. I'm counter. I'm, I'm gonna let that go. I only have one counter spell in their deck now. Five cards in their hand. What are Johns and Pierces? Well, if, it's, we don't know if they're a ring or, or uh, shadow yet. Because if they're a ring, they're probably on like one or zero drowns. Lumbler with the 27 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Isn't Timeless where you can Sanctuary your counter spells? Oh, I forgot, I forgot you could Sanctuary counter spell in that format. Okay, we're, we're going to play some Timeless soon. Some more. They aggressively fetch shock that matching shadow. Yeah, I think that's a good good guess for sure. Um I pitched a fatal push. I think I'd like to use a counter spell here. If they counter back I can subtlety. I think they're I think they're only doing this if they can scam. Yeah, cryptic is I don't I don't think cryptic is legal. Unless it was in one of like the almond cat like Whatever those things are called. Gross. Alright, I need to draw Solitude. I'm just supposed to take for you just go rest watch price. Right? You, you have no idea how bad I want to be here today. Yesterday was awful. I mean, not being able to stream. I I really, really, really sincerely want to be here. It's a weird game. Three cards in their hand. Cast a 4-4 four, four shadow. Confirmed, I guess. I think I'm gonna cast Binding this turn. Bore with a 10 pack. Thank you so much. You gotta give us some for more. Make sure to thank um. All right, solitude off the top for boar. I think one time uh, get to cast it. Velcro with the three. Thank you. Welcome back. I feel like they have another push, probably. So I guess they also. I guess they're playing. I wonder if like their only scam card is Persist, and they're playing Troll plus Grief. Maybe they have a couple other like one mana per uh, uh, Persisters. Crop with the three two. Thank you so much, Velcro with the two. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. They sure are thinking about this one. So 
So we're down to eight. This is getting bigger. I'm taking six down to two. I need a solitude. Guess I probably should have uh, subtlety that. I'm still kind of in the same spot though. If I draw a solitude, I'm stable. If I don't, I'm not. I can I can, I can afford to lose one more. Extra look. Okay, so now I can go prismatic ending here. Preordain. No solitudes in the top twenty-two. Are they? Not 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 any in the top twenty-five or something like that. Sad. They play. They have persist in their deck. They have grief. They have mist tide. Probably. They have drown. Let's play two. Rest in peace. Oh, they thought sees one. That's right. They thought sees one. Okay, there was one then. Any good brews cooking in the background? Well, you'll have to maybe wait. Because I think, I think we're going to play the backup deck after this. There's our Solitude. Do you use a jerk prediction? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we lost uh, round four. Can you hint about the backup deck? Um, it's not in this format. Yeah, is it timeless? Is it pioneer? Is it legacy? Is it is it cube? What is it? Yeah, the blue list was pretty good, I think. Is it on this platform? Who's to say? I guess it was, I guess it would be me, huh? Alright, I'm going to let them attack here. We have Subtlety and Solitude. can stabilize the board if we cast them. Also, if they end up like playing a Shadow, the Solitude maybe gets them. We also have Solitude to Fibrate. Canister, thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing well. I'm not doing that well, but I hope y'all are doing well, Faithless Looters. Playing a blue-white list with uh, Tidebinder. Just gonna hold up hard cast subtlety for maybe another bowmaster here. Okay, so they have a shadow in their hand. Uh okay. My hand is so much worse <laughs> when it's known. So it's, uh, it's like unbelievably worse. Ever kill two shadows with one solitude? I think so, yeah. Some here got four or five O's and we go S for teachings. I don't like respond to text real quick. Uh, yeah, this looks super sweet for sure. Oh, they took the subtlety. It's kind of surprising. I see what just flashing it in response. This feels like not right to cast anything. They crack my fetch. If they tie binder, then I can soul to defibrate. Well, I guess I'm playing into drown a little bit more, I suppose. Alright, so we'll cast this, though. So I'll counter it, then we'll go into the backup deck in a sec.
Yeah, let me take a closer look at it. It looked pretty fun. Oh, this is from Sauce. Yeah, I don't think it's the list. So I remember, I think I think I saw the list was playing like two bowmasters. Like the the teaching players are always kind of funny because they, the numbers are always really weird. The numbers are always really weird. But they only play, but sometimes but a lot of times they play like two or three teachings instead of four because it's the worst card in their deck. Okay, three zero to three two doesn't feel great, but uh. Yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> uh, three two to three, three zero to three two doesn't feel great. Let's play the backup deck. Backup deck is uh, Mono Green Aetherworks Marvel and Pioneer. Uh, um.